Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Birdman Studios, and I'm back to go over uh, a little bit of this visual scripting in Unity. Um, so in this one, I want to change the speed in real time for the game. So I can do that by creating a, let's create a trigger box. So let's create a cube. Let's set it to zero on the Y and zero on the Z. And let's scale this guy up to be kind of big. There we go. I'm going to turn off the mesh renderer and I'm going to turn on the is trigger. Then on this sphere, you can see that I have already went ahead and added a rigid body, but I'll show you my steps. Go to component, physics, rigid, oh, that's not it, sorry. Physics, component, physics, rigid body. And what you want to do is drop down this constraints and constrain it on the X, Y, on, and Z on position and rotation and turn off gravity. It doesn't need gravity. Now what we're going to do is need this trigger box, so we'll just call this slow zone. We're going to drag this into our visual script editor, create a game object. And what we're going to do is do an on trigger enter uh, event. So let's look for trigger. You can see there's a trigger events button here. Just uh, go ahead and click that. You'll get a trigger events node and the instance is going to be the slow zone. So the slow zone is the trigger that we're checking against. Now what we want to do is set the float of this object here. So you remember we can right click and then go to add variables float or we can just hold down F and click uh, for float. So let's hook up the speed into this object here. Let's make its speed something like let's make it start speed let's say 0 0.1 all right and what we need to do is change this so we need to set float so set float when we enter the trigger we want to set a float let's copy and paste this control C control V and on trigger exit we want to set a float so when we enter the trigger we want it to slow down so let's set its value to 0 0.075 when it's inside and when it exits we want to set it back to 0 0.1 now the target is the object we're changing so we're gonna make that the float that's hooked up to the speed you'll see this object change in real time so let's hit save debug wait for this to compile and then let's drag this down we're gonna be watching the scene view so when I hit play you'll see that the object when it reaches the box this is going to change so you can see now it's 0 0.075 when it exits it's 0 0.1 now it wasn't very obvious that it slowed down so we can change this variable to 0. Point, let's say 0 0.5 instead of or 0 0.05 instead of 0 0.075 hit save debug let that compile out and then uh, when that's done compiling you can tell also by the spinning wheel now it's done we can hit play and watch it slow down again. So I'm going to click this variable so we can watch it change. You can see that now it's obviously slower. And when it exits, it's going to return to its original value. So now we've checked to see if um, this object entered. Now the only issue that we currently have is that if any object enters this uh, trigger box with uh, a, let's say, a uh, rigid body it's going to slow down the speed and you can see that here I'm going to drag this in you can see it slowed down before I got in and it's going fast and it slowed down okay so uh, oops I duplicated a U script no wonder it didn't work sorry about that okay so let's drag this object further nope not the U script object the actual sphere let's drag it further to the left now let's hit play. I'm going to pause it real quick. Oh, we drugged the wrong object. That's quite hilarious. All right, um, let's get this right this time. So we're going to drag this object over here. Drag this object above the trigger box. Hit play. You'll see now that when this object goes in, you see I can control the speed with a different object and that's not good we want to check only if this sphere over here enters so what we can do we have the instance of the sphere here as a game object 
what we can do is this right here has another thing called instigator. If we click the checkbox instead of instigator, you'll get an extra output node. What we can do is right click on that arrow and say create linked variable. This will be the object that enters into the trigger box and we want to make sure it's only this object. So we can do a compare game object. So compare game objects. What this will do is take in an A and a B and check if they're the same or different. So we're going to move these nodes over that change the floating value and we're going to break their links because we're going to add uh, two checks here. I'm going to copy and paste this. Well, we want to check uh, on the input of this one. If they are the same, then we want to change it. On the exit, uh, if they are the same, then we want to change it. So if they're the same, change it. Now, we want to take in the object that caused the trigger to happen and the object we only want to change if it is. So we'll do that on both comparisons. Now it will only change the speed of the object if that is the object that hits it. So let's go ahead and save debug. And let's watch the magic happen. So I will hit play. Or actually I'll grab this guy and hit play and try to sabotage that one's speed by going in. You can see that its speed does not change and when it enters it controls its speed no matter if another object goes in and it controls its speed on the way out too. So uh, there you go, that was a quick, uh, another quick tutorial. I added in this whole instance thing, but hopefully you get it. Um, I hope this helped, and until next time, uh, have a good day.